Yes. Yes, quite. Mm. You know, I was in a conversation with someone the other day who had recently purchased the JG, you know, an all right airsoft weapon system. And, uh, well, 150 bucks, maybe 200, something like that. And then, you know, bought some upgrades for it, took its gun apart, put them all in there, stuff like that. And I'm like, what? Uh, what if you don't know how to do that? What if you don't have time to do that? What if you don't want to break something? Why don't they just make one that comes with all that shit already? And I'm not talking about a five, six hundred dollar gun. I'm talking about the price you would pay for the gun and the upgrades. Why doesn't someone just make those together already and then you buy it? Why doesn't somebody fucking make that? Tired of upgrading your airsoft weapon system? Can't figure out how to take it apart. Can't figure out how to put it back together again. Are there just not enough hours in the day? Afraid you'll break something. Thanks, Obama. You know what really gets my dick hard? Besides trannies, anyway. It's a full metal AEG carbine that shoots like a motherfucker. Airsoft Extreme is an airsoft retail store that started coming out with their own line of AEGs. I went for the UCR-12 because I like the longer rail on an M4, you know, to be unique and different with an M4. The rail itself, excluding the Delta Ring, is 10.5 inches, which gives you plenty of space. They do have a shorter version called the UCR-7, as they call it, as well as a Mark 18 and a DMR and a few other M4s, including the Warfighter. This is a full metal AEG. The only plastic I found is the grip and crane stock. Uh, note about the stock, the battery sits inside the buffer tube, so you're only going to be able to fit stick batteries in, but seriously, this gun works best, best with a LiPo anyway. The gun itself includes folding metal sights, a high capacity magazine that might be a classic army. I don't know why I mentioned that, because you'll probably just put a fucking P-Mag at it anyway. Uh, that one foregrip you see every once in a while, and a muzzle attachment that makes the gun louder as well as look pretty fucking badass. Forward the buffer tube, you have a one-point sling mount with a double loop on the left and a single loop on the right, because fuck lefties, I guess. My mom's a lefty. Now inside you have 9mm bearing bushings, steel high torque gears, a high strength polycarbonate piston, and 6.03mm tight bore inner barrel. They say it's lipo ready, and it certainly is. The player pack, or whatever they called it, that came with the gun when I got it, came with an 11.1 lipo battery. I really fucked that can up, huh? Fuck you, Takate. I prefer a red stripe. When I bought it, it was going for uh, 289, which included a bunch of stuff. However, uh, yesterday I looked it up on the website. They now have it for 250. Really good buy. I would recommend it for anyone. I'm actually thinking about picking up another AEX to uh, throw my launcher on, cause I like wasting money. I have one of these things too. Did I say waste? I meant being awesome. Oh, Magpul. It works with Magpul P-Mags. <coughs> uh, endorsement. <coughs> uh, uh, I seem to have something stuck in my throat. I think I will wash it down with this nice, refreshing red stripe. Ah, the taste of Jamaica.